Okay, is this still on? Skipper, are you sure about the script? Sunset Shimmer, you are perfect to take a script. Just focus it. Okay. Ratings, I am Sunset Shimmer. Today we are taking a look at the second chapter of the My Little Pony prequel comic series. Transformers My Little Pony, The Magic of Cybertron. I hope those Brony fans love their prequel comic. Let's let's head, shall we? Rumble Red's the old equestrian comic book, but Breakdown has to rumble about old pony comic tales. I think Breakdown has appeared for the all in continued your prime series. I hope we celebrate a year ago. But then Megatron decided to steal the ponies from Cybertron. So Shockwave remembers the coordinates of Equestria. The Decepticons split up to search the ponies. Well, I bought those Transformers figures that I collected. I bought many concats at mind with. I think I'll put his chest from Soundwave or Sound Blaster. Neverman, let's get back. So we returned in Shadow Striker, the two from Transformers Prime and Subriver series, discovered an ancient crystal. So the fact is, this cracks are the Dark Energon, so we will talk about that later. So Thunder Craker and Slipstream captured those main six. I think Twilight Sparkle will send my book for that. But in Cladsdale, Spitfire in the Wonder Cult seeing a portal? I guess I called Space Bridge, right? After they entered this portal and Decepticons captured those ponies. I guess before I bought Siege Battlemaster Fire Drive? Please, she is not my doctor. The main seeker route to the space bridge and Twilight Sparkle shoot the crystal. And she accidentally breaks the crystal and a massive eclosion smoke. But it was Unicorn, actually. Unicorn or Unicorn, maybe it was a joke. And finally, wait, King Summer lives. I thought he was defeated in season nine. Oh, well, continue. So King Summer returns to have note as Twilight Sparkle and her friends. And also the Cybertrainians, too. I think King Summer stole the Cybertrainian book called The Covenant of Primus when he had a plan to poison the plane through the Great Core. Oh, well, opinion. Is that right? Optimus Prime arrives to the space bridge when Shockwave has his vault to steal the ponies. So we already decided to join our friends as Autobots and Decepticons. I guess we call it the proposal, right? Optimus is a librarian and Shockwave is a senator. Thanks, Celestia, for that. Meanwhile, Lofty and Holiday was stranded outskirts of Cybertron. I guess metal is solid ground, get it? Light made of metal. And now RC and Grainlight are to the lesbian press. So lesbian, right? And then there was a Gant monster called Killmaster. I ever read more than meets the A. He is so adorable and now he is big guy. So the four had a plan to defeat Killmaster using the magic of friendship. RC and Grainlight used the ball of yarn to Lofty and Holiday. And now Skodaloo worries with the sick of the bots. Gage, Larry, Rubble, Watshot. I guess this was after Kirby Moore, the voice of him died months ago, or Minister sure Shock, and wait, is that, is that my beau friend? Oh no, Rodimus has returned. Oh, I'm going to blush. Please make it stop. Okay, where was I? And now they have relaxing picnic on Cybertron, and that's it for today from the My Little Pony Transformers. The magic of Cybertron. Twilight, why are you reading? You're supposed to stop reading. I ever see my boyfriend from his vehicle mode. Gosh, Sunset, I ever read this for the first time. You think Rodimus is your boyfriend? Twilight, please shut the heck up. Go on, read the Legends End.